Hey, David, what's going on? Ricardo here with my Amazon guy. And I was browsing through some products in your category and I came across your new star food service brand. And, you know, first and foremost, congrats on over 10,000 ratings, you know, 4.5 stars out of five. You have an Amazon's choice badge. That's an amazing accomplishment. So, hey, virtual high five, pat yourself on the back. You guys are doing an amazing job there. Um, but one of my jobs as an account executive, David, is to look for and find potential opportunities with sellers who prioritize on Amazon. And after taking a good look at your brand and your listing, you definitely fit the bill. So I actually uncovered some things and some opportunities for improvement that I want to share with you. And I just hope that you find this video helpful. Um, it's not going to take too long. I'm just going to get right to it. OK, so if we look over here, we'll be able to take a look at your keyword distribution. And right now you have twenty nine hundred sponsored keywords and twenty nine hundred organic keywords. Now, right off the bat, you definitely uh, I definitely see some some room for improvement here. Um, we like to see a one to two ratio because um, SEO and PPC, they work. They both work in tandem. They work together synergistically. So. We'd like to see for every sponsored keyword that you have, you should have uh, two organic keywords. So right now your organics are lacking a little bit. Um, and honestly, you know, we should get this to the tens of thousands because there's thousands upon thousands of keywords that you can definitely be indexing and ranking for. Okay. So that's just on the SEO and uh, PPC. And, and if we look over here, you look at the high, uh, assorted by the highest search volume and you'll see that a lot of these uh, keywords are really relevant, right? As you can scoop, you're ranking 150 organically and you're paying to be number 60, right? On Cotton Candy Machine, that one's not really relevant. One Piece Ice Cream Scoop, we got Ice Cream Scooper, 273.41, but you're paying to appear for 41. So there's a lot of these keywords. There's uh, from, from what I see here, there's a lot of wasted ad spend. So you're paying to be in position 41 right now. You're ranking 273, so you're not being seen here. You're not really being seen here. So it's it's not really benefiting you. So one of the first things that we will focus on is on cutting out all the wasted ad spend because instantly with cutting cutting out wasted ad spend, you're profitable instantly, right? So that would be one of one of our, our focus in the beginning. Now, if we go over here, I'm gonna start by ranks, organic ranks twenty through fifty, and it shows that you have three hundred and seventy-three uh keywords so right now you're not really benefiting even with these low rankings right here you're not really benefiting from these rankings because your people are not really seeing your product because like i said we're not counting the uh the amazon sponsored listings that are coming up right before your your listing so what our focus would be is to get you up within the you know lift you up in the ranks within uh, the top 10 for each one of these keywords so that you can actually start benefiting from that traffic and actually start having a healthy SEO to visit ratio. Okay. So that's what we would focus on. Now, something else that I wanted to show you, I went to your listing and I love the photos that you have, you know, very high quality. Um, I would love to see, I know that it's, it's a commodity item, but I would love to see more about the brand in, in, you know, in the images, I would like to see what makes this, you know, flower, you know, ice and flower utility scoop. What, what makes it different from everybody else in, in, in the market? I love that you have a video showcasing the product. It's beautiful, very well designed. Um, also talking a little bit about your listing title, you have 125 characters and you have room for up to 200 characters. So I definitely recommend you take advantage of that space because your listing title is one of the most important parts that Amazon looks at when, you, when it's looking at your listing. Same with your uh, bullet points. As you can see, you can have up to 250 characters for every single bullet point, and you can fill it up with very highly relevant keywords. Right now, it shows that you're probably using about 40, maybe 30 or 50 characters in each one. So you definitely want to improve that. Um, and if we scroll down here, I love the fact that you have a plus content. A lot of people still don't have it. You have it. That's amazing. You have some crawlable tests as well. Let me take a look at your alt tests real quick. So, yeah, so your alt text is very lacking. Um, you need you, what well, you can have up to 100 characters for every single image. And alt text uh, helps your SEO, helps your ranking, helps your indexing. So you definitely want to take advantage of that as well. Um, there's so much real estate that Amazon gives you for you to take advantage of. And I feel like if you were to really focus on all of these things and, and combine them together, um, you, you would see a massive lift, uh, lift in, in sales and revenue with your, with your listing. So like I said, 
And actually, let me show you something. If we go over here, this is Stephen Pope's listing. He is the founder of our company. And as you can see, you know, very, I know it's not related to your product. What I want to show you is what a well optimized listing looks like. So, you know, over 200 characters right here, very well optimized title, well optimized bullet points, right? And if we go over here, this is a, a new module from Amazon. It's called the From the Brand module. It, you know, normally it's called a brand story. So this is where you can talk about your brand, you know, where you guys got your start, where you guys from, why you guys do what you do. Because I think that on a commodity item like this, it's very important to differentiate yourself from the competition. And it's very important to, you know, have the customer pain in their mind, like, hey, like this brand is different, you know, because it's a commodity item, right? So that what's cool about the from the brand module is that you can also cross sell different products. OK, you can increase your average order value. So as you can see, he has uh, beautifully designed A plus content. You know, you have a lot of text. All this text is in that scene right here. You can see his alt text as well. Just showing you an example. See. You can have up to 100 characters of alt text in each single image. So. At the bottom, he even has a product comparison grid, which I highly recommend you get because that's going to allow you to increase your average order value, cross sell different products, you know, just show your offering to the customers. So uh, right off the bat, those are some of the, the you know, some, some of my findings, some of the areas of opportunity that I see that you can improve. Hopefully it wasn't too overwhelming. Um, you know, here at my Amazon guy, we work with over 250 brands, you know, $300 million of revenue a year. So we know what we're doing. We've been doing it for a while. Um, the reason I'm making this video for you is because you definitely fit the bill for, for our services. Um, I would love to sit down with you and, and have a chat and, and see if we could possibly help you um, because I definitely see the growth and potential, the growth potential in, in, in your brand and in, in, in your listing. So um, I'll be more than happy to get on a call with you. Maybe we can discuss some uh, additional growth strategies and tips that you can take. So if you're interested, feel free to book a call at the bottom of the email. Go to the link that says book a call. And hopefully I'll be speaking with you soon. All right. Awesome. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.